is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Great to have you with us here on News 5 at 6. That's a live look in Colorado Springs. We've got mostly cloudy skies out there right now. A few showers and even thunderstorms working across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Current temperature 72 degrees right now. Relative humidity high enough to support some good rain. 37%. There's a westerly breeze at the airport anyway. 7 miles per hour. In Pueblo, a mix of clouds and blue off in the distance. It's still warm. 83 right now. Relative humidity at 22%. That's up a little bit compared to last hour. We've got rain showers, thunderstorms popping across parts of the viewing area. Those thunderstorms stretching from portions of the Palmer Divide into portions of Fremont County all the way down into the southern mountains and southern foothills. Nothing severe anywhere across the viewing area. Just getting thunder, lightning and some beneficial rain across far northern El Paso County. More stuff off to the west of Woodland Park. That stuff pushing to the east. So uh, we've got a couple of more chances of seeing some rain showers, thunderstorms throughout the night tonight. Dry skies in Pueblo, a couple of light showers across sections of Fremont County, then Walsenburg, Levita Pass, all the way down to west of Aguilar. We've also got a little bit of rain falling right now. You can see the general movement with this loop east-southeast at about 10 to 12 miles per hour. All right, here's your future cast. Here's what's going to happen throughout the night tonight. Another round of thunderstorms certainly possible after 8 o'clock moving off the mountains across the I-25 corridor. Then another round late tonight. This is about 10 to midnight. Then everything starts to quiet down. We do it all over again tomorrow. Thunderstorms forming over the higher elevations. Racing to the I-25 corridor with a couple of thunderstorms possible. We're going to see uh, mainly uh, sub-severe thunderstorms across most parts of the viewing area tomorrow. Here's what happens. A cold front's going to pass through. So temperatures tomorrow as a result of that front anywhere from four to eight degrees cooler than what you had today. A little disturbance is going to move through. We'll see sunshine tomorrow morning as that disturbance rolls in, though we're going to see thunderstorms develop as we just showed you on that hour by hour forecast. Today it was warm in Pueblo, 89 year afternoon high temperature in Colorado Springs. We started at 49, took it back to a high of 78 degrees this afternoon. Outside right now it's very comfortable out there. 60s and 70s across a good chunk of the viewing area, even still into the 80s along parts of the Arkansas River and downright cool in Woodland Park. Some rain cooled air, double nickels there. 55 is the current temperature. Lows tonight, a little warmer than the past few nights, into the 50s for both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Your highs tomorrow. Those numbers, the coolest we're going to have around here for at least the next seven days. If you're a warm weather fan, I can accommodate you with highs into the 80s starting on Friday, continuing over the weekend. Good chance of seeing those PM thunderstorms for at least the next seven days. That doesn't mean you're going to get a big rain out, but at least a chance of getting some of that beneficial rain over the next seven days. As always, look out for that dangerous cloud to ground lightning in Pueblo. A big helping of beautiful tomorrow. A late day thunderstorm possible, not probable. Better chance of getting a passing PM thunderstorm Friday through the weekend. You'll need that rain to cool down with 90s back in the mix. Staying hot early next week. Thunderstorms and slightly cooler air by next Wednesday. And for Canyon City, the picture I'm trying to paint with this forecast is warm and wet. Temperatures unseasonably warm starting on Friday, continuing all the way into the middle part of next week. A daily chance of the afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And for Woodland Park, it's shower time. Rain showers and afternoon thunderstorms dominate that extended forecast. The next week could prove beneficial in putting a dent in the drought across Teller County. And with fire season knocking on the door, that is great news. Elizabeth. Mike, thanks. Let's get